The Senate has approved on third and final reading the bill that amends the Anti-Money Laundering Act. The approval comes less than two weeks before the February deadline, February 1st deadline, that is, set by the Financial Action Task Force, which sets standards against money laundering and terrorist financing. Failure to enact and implement AMLA amendments by February 1st could put the Philippines in the so-called gray list of nations that may be subjected to international sanctions and stricter monitoring of financial transactions. Senator Grace Paul, who is chairman of the Committee on Banks and Financial Institutions, said the amendments are responsive to emerging risks and challenges. President Duterte had certified the bill as urgent, but the Senate did not immediately approve it due to protests to conditions set by the palace. The president wanted the bill to set the threshold for tax crimes at 20 million pesos, similar to the House version. However, the Senate increased the threshold to 25 million pesos. The Senate version also included Philippine offshore gaming operators and service providers as covered persons and real estate developers and brokers with single transactions of at least 5 million pesos as covered transactions. The House version only proposed to cover real estate developers and brokers. In both versions, the Anti-Money Laundering Council is given the power to preserve, manage, or dispose of assets pursuant to a freeze order. Both versions have also prohibited lower courts from issuing a restraining order against a freeze or asset preservation order, and the Bicameral Conference Committee will tackle that bill today.